Hi everybody, I'm Matt Halls of the Happy Show. I'm here today on July 6th, 2008. It's Sunday. I wasn't going to make a video vlog for some time. I haven't made too many video vlogs lately. That's because I've been pretty busy with running a business here and also with doing some art projects and with also doing the Happy Show, my public access television show, which I also show here on YouTube. But there's been some recent developments with the Viacom versus YouTube whole legal battle mess. And I felt that I should address it since I've been pretty outspoken, outspoken in the past about the matters of YouTube and Viacom. Viacom had, what was it, a year and a half ago, I guess, clamped down on YouTube and claimed that... Uh, you know, there was all these copyright infringing videos that was somehow robbing them of millions or billions. Well, I guess billions because they're lawsuits for a billion uh, of dollars of revenue and such. I debate very strongly that this is the matter, that this is the case that's really happening with Viacom. I think, first off, they feel threatened by a merging new kind of medium. Relatively new, of course. This thing's been around for a while. YouTube is now celebrating close to its third anniversary. And I've just recently celebrated my second anniversary here on YouTube. And also, I've been burnt by Viacom when they wrongly took down a parody of mine that I fought and won. Uh, it was a parody of a reality, reality TV in general. But I had a play on the words of real, uh, of real World. Is that that program? See, I don't even watch the program. But I have play on the words in the title. And apparently that was enough for whenever they sent their watchdogs out to search out, sniff out videos. The dogs should be fired or put to the pound because these watchdogs for Viacom, they didn't do a good job. They found a lot of people's videos that weren't really copyright infringed. weren't at all copyright infringing videos and had these videos removed and mine was caught up in that dragnet and it was wrongfully taken down I fought it got in contact with the MTV's legal department my video was put back up and everything if you've watched my videos for a while you know this whole whole scenario this whole situation this whole story and everything else you know you know the whole matter <clears throat> I did originally have the video uh, in a rash move a while back I uh, months ago, maybe even a year ago, I took down a lot of my old vlogs. wish I kept it up, but uh, that would give you a more accurate history if you weren't aware of it. But basically the gist is, Viacom marked one of my videos for removal. I followed it, got it placed back up, okay? But there were several, possibly thousands of people, because I know there was thousands of people definitely affected, at least hundreds of people who had their videos wrongfully taken down. Now, I'm not saying that this, you know, all the videos were removed, uh, that Viacom had removed were they were in the wrong legally to have removed, but you know there you go. But there was a lot of people instantly affected. Well, now I I made several videos before saying that the your rights mean nothing to the corporations, and in this country, unfortunately, because I you know I love my country, but in this country and maybe even on a global scale here, the rights of the corporation supersedes the rights of the individual. That's not the way it's supposed to be. And that's not the way it's exactly written down, at least not as far as the way it's supposed to be. But in the ways of the law, it's twisted by lawyers and by greedy corporations so that their right supersedes your right. Like, my right was violated when my video was taken down. The rights of other people's video, uh, video rights, their rights were taken down when their videos were taken down. Excuse me, I'm doing this off the cuff, as you can tell. Uh, so I'm stammering a bit. But, but their, their rights were trampled. And supposedly this was a pursuit of the right for that corporation. You are, and I've said this before, you are guilty until you're proven innocent. And you have to prove yourself innocent whenever it comes to these corporations making these charges. Well, here again now, if that if I hadn't made this a point in the past, and if people watch my video uh, thought I was just full of hot air, a judge, Judge Stanton, as, as I correct, let's check that news story. Uh, I think Louis Stanton, Stanton, yeah, Judge Louis Stanton in New York, he said in a ruling that Viacom, Viacom has the right to get information from YouTube for your viewing history. 
That means any of you people that sign in the YouTube on their account, Viacom wants to know what you're watching. Now, since you don't necessarily only watch programs that... And what does it matter? First off, let me put it this way. Now, there's one thing when people put up the videos. But what's it matter if people are watching certain videos? I guess their argument is like, well, see, there are this many people watching our videos. So that proves our case because these people are watching the legally, ver legally uploaded versions of our programs. And so you owe us X amount of dollars, YouTube. But the government... You know, the people are fighting all the time for the government to be able to get our personal information. And now a corporation just walks in and gets the right from a judge in New York? It's disgusting. It's totally disgusting. And uh, if we allow corporations to do this, then we certainly aren't going to have much uh, chance of getting the government not to do it. And we've been fighting that battle for a while now. But now even corporations are allowed to invade your privacy. And do it under the guise, just like uh, you know, the government uses the guise. I'm sorry to get overly political here, but the government uses the guise of what happened in Iraq to uh, to do or what happened with 9/11 to go ahead and invade our privacy and our lives. So too now is Viacom, Viacom using you know the fact that there are people out there putting 10 minute clips of their TV show as a right to invade the privacy of everybody on YouTube. It's nonsense. Well, there's a petition going around, and there's other videos you'll find that people are putting out there that are in protest of this judgment from Judge Stanton in New York. And, of course, I'm lending my voice to it. I wasn't going to make a video vlog for a while, like I said, but they they pulled me back in, whatever they said on Godfather. Or am I allowed to even quote Godfather without getting in any kind of copyright trouble? This is how ridiculous things are getting. It's nonsense. I've talked before about these greedy, soulless corporations, and it's it's just getting worse. Uh, but you can't fight. Don't think you can't fight it. Basically, corporations, the one thing that is different from the government is the corporations need our money. Now, I know people are talking about boycotting Viacom, and that wouldn't be a bad start, but understand there's a lot that Viacom owns. A lot that you watch that is Viacom, probably. And, uh, because they own MTV Network, they, they own CBS, I'm not sure if they still do, they own BET, they own VH1, they own, you know, they own a lot, okay, out there. And, uh, there's, that's the way a lot of these huge conglomerates, these huge corporations are, they, they actually have one big, you know, company that owns all these little companies. But, you know, I just, I do believe in boycotting if you believe that, you know, it will make a difference. But I definitely believe in speaking out and petitioning. And I definitely say, you know, you need to speak out about this. My time's running out, but I just want to give my view because I, I didn't think I was going to address it because I've done so in the past. But I just couldn't stop for myself from wanting to tackle this and at least put out uh, my voice in support of those fighting against this. Because I'm, I've been one of those people fighting against them and then I... You know, just want, them to, want people to keep fighting this injustice because that's what it is. It's injustice. We all should be painted in the same brush, and our and we shouldn't give a corporation this kind of power just because it wants to protect its rights over our own. That's my video vlog for today, and I'll end this with a yay! <laughs>